So after my unboxing video of the Nomad Base Station Pro, that did really well by the way. If anyone from that video is watching, thank you so much for getting it to 100 views in just seven days. It really means a lot to me. Anyway, after I did that video, I said I would do the full review of the Nomad Base Station Pro 3-in-1 wireless charging pad. And here it is, the full review. So before I get into anything, let me tell you about how this thing works because this is probably one of the coolest devices I have. It's a, basically just a wireless charger, but it lets any Qi enabled wireless charging device to charge anywhere on this pad. And I mean anywhere, like I've tried charging devices all over the pad and it still works. It does take a second or two for the pad to recognize where and what device is on it, but it doesn't really matter because you throw it on and it'll charge anyway. Instead of using your regular one, two and three wireless charging coils to charge, this pad has a new type of technology called free power technology, which is basically, I think 18 hexagon wireless charging coils placed all throughout the device. Meaning I can put up to three devices anywhere on this leather pad and it'll charge them all. Nomad is the first consumer electronic company to use free power technology in their devices. The free power technology was developed by a different company called Aera. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll link them down below. And I can guarantee you that this device will not be the last using it. This charging pad has three soft LED lights down the bottom to indicate if something's charging and of what third it's using. It's made of this aluminium shell with this really premium, nice feeling leather pad where all of your devices go. It comes with this really nice feeling USB-C to USB-C cable. And on the back of it, it actually says that you need a 30 plus watt charging brick to use it. And if you don't have one of those, don't worry, because that comes in the box. But if you lose it, you'll have to get another one. This charging pad can also get firmware updates that you install by plugging it into a computer. This is actually really helpful because when the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro first came out with their MagSafe magnets around the back, the charging just wouldn't work on this thing. But they were able to fix that with one easy and quick firmware update. This charging pad is exactly what Apple wanted AirPower to be, except Apple wanted AirPower to be able to charge the Apple Watch as well. This charging pad can't charge an Apple Watch just sitting on the pad itself, but there is an attachment shipping early next year to be able to charge the Apple Watch. Back in 2017, when Apple announced the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 series that had wireless charging, they also announced AirPower, which was basically the Nomad Base Station Pro, except it could charge the Apple Watch. The reason this didn't come out was because the way they were making it, they were running into overheating issues. So back in March of 2019, Apple officially canceled the project. Speaking of overheating issues, this charging pad, as well as the device that you're charging, get quite hot, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just something I thought I'd want to mention. Just like any first generation product, this device is pretty expensive. It costs about 230 US dollars or 300 Australian dollars. But just like any first generation product, it will get cheaper over time. So now for the thing you've all been waiting for, and that's how long does it take to charge your phone? To make this as accurate as possible, I've conducted three tests. My iPhone 12 Pro with a regular Signet charger, my iPhone 12 Pro alone with the Nomad Base Station Pro, and for the last one, I got two phones plus a pair of AirPods on the Nomad Base Station Pro, all from zero to 100% battery to see how long it would take. Before I tell you the numbers, I'd like to thank this person for asking in the comments if I could charge it with three phones at once because they couldn't find anyone else attempt it. And I'll tell you why no one else has tried this. And that's because the Nomad Base Station Pro, although it can charge three devices, it can only charge two mobile phones plus one pair of AirPods or anything else that uses wireless charging. So hopefully that helps answer your question. And now let's get onto the numbers. So to begin, my regular cheap Signet wireless charger took about four and a half hours to fully charge my iPhone 12 Pro from zero to 100%, which is pretty standard. Next, my phone on the Base Station Pro, and from zero to 100%, this took about six and a half hours, which is a bit slower than regular wireless charging. But because it's using that brand new free power technology, it will take a bit longer. I charge my phone overnight, just like most other people, and I still wake up with about 100% battery left in the morning. Now to charge the maximum amount of devices on this charging pad as possible. And I chose my iPhone 12 Pro, an iPhone XR, and my pair of AirPods Pro. And overnight, this took about eight and a half hours. And again, it took a long time because it's using that brand new free power technology 
as well as charging three devices at once, so it has to split the power evenly between them all. It may be big, heavy and slow now, but it does come at the convenience of not having to worry about where you put your phone on the charging pad. But think of it in a few years time when everything gets cheaper and smaller and faster. But at 300 Australian dollars, that's just ridiculous, which is why right now I don't recommend anyone buy this thing, unless you're a huge tech geek like me. But if you do want this, but don't want to spend $300, again, it will get cheaper over time. Thank you so much for watching, especially those of you who stuck around to the very end. Let me know you made it this far by commenting down below anything you'd like to know about the charging pad. Feel free to come hang out with me and my friends in my Discord server that I'll link down below. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and chuck us a sub, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.